Hello and welcome again to another video. And today we wanted to find out how we can affect our digital signage with a new technology that you might have heard of. And if you haven't, then where have you been? It's ChatGPT and AI technology. So when we're looking at AI and how we can generate content via this or how we can improve our digital signage, there's a few things we can look at. First of all, text and secondly, images, but you could potentially go into things like videos as well. We're gonna take this specifically down into digital signage because that's what we know. I've actually brought up a platform here called ChatSonic, very similar to ChatGPT. Couldn't get on ChatGPT because it's actually completely fully booked with people trying to get on it at the moment, but it's a very, very similar service in terms of you can ask it a question and it will deliver some information. So you've been asked to look after the building and the infrastructure of digital signage. You're gonna have a lot of different questions in terms of what do you need to ask, who do you need to get involved, what content do you wanna display, but the other question that's gonna be raised is who's responsible for the long-term content management? And the number one question that we are always trying to answer is how do we build out content? Signage Live looks after the CMS portion. That's where we thrive being able to deliver that content to devices across the globe, regardless of how many you're looking to manage and how you're looking to manage them. Where the content comes in is a little bit more fluid in terms of what you wanna build. So we wanted to do an experiment today. Can I generate a piece of content or a range of content using entirely AI generated thought? So we're gonna ask ChatSonic to write a short sentence on the benefit of wearing safety equipment in a warehouse, something that you may well come across. And we're gonna take that sentence and whilst that's thinking, we will, oh, it started. Wearing safety equipment in a warehouse can help prevent major injuries and ensure a safer working environment. Okay, easy enough, that's not too complex. We're actually then gonna take ourselves over to our Canva instance. As you can see, I'm actually using Canva's new AI image generation tool. And I'm gonna search for hard hat and I'm gonna generate an image. Give it a couple of seconds here. And there we go, perfect. All right, let's go with this one. This guy looks like he knows what he's doing. Put over that image there, perfect. I might add a bit of a background. Let's just go with a nice yellow. Seems to be fitting. Piece of text, add a box, paste in our content. Let's make that. Well, I kind of like the black actually. Perfect, there we go. One piece of AI generated content that we're ready to download, share on our screens in the matter of seconds. Okay, and there we go. We've got our content up and running in a matter of seconds. So let's take another example. Well, let's see, we want to incentivize, we want to really kind of get our sales team engaged and working on the product or project that we're looking to. So I've just gone to ChatSonic again and said, what are the three things you can do to be more productive in sales? And it's given us some really useful information. I understand this makes all sense, but actually it doesn't quite fit what I'm looking to talk about this time. So I've changed it to write a brief summary of how to be better at selling designed for digital signage. And we'll just see what comes up at this point. That will then build out our content. Digital signage can be a great way to promote products and services to increase sales to make the most of digital signage. It's important to have a well-defined strategy. Create engaging content, ensure proper positioning and use interactive to engage customers. Additionally, you can use data and analytics to track customer engagement and make necessary changes. By following these tips, you will be able to increase your sales and reach your larger audience. Couldn't have said it better myself, to be honest with you. So let's take this, let's go and pull this. It's just about enough to fit. It's kind of almost encroaching on too much for a digital screen, but I think we can just about get it on there if we gave it enough time to be displayed. So we us reduce down that size. Okay, and you know what? We want a digital signage. Let's generate an image around digital signage. Perfect, love it. All right, let's go grab something like this. Nice. Now, one of the things I have noticed with text to image is they're great, but almost like when you're in a dream, it does not know text. So this is why it says here, Spase Sitlin commits. So maybe we try something different. Digital signage in an office. Let's have a look what we got here. This, let's just try without text. Okay, there we go. That's a bit better. Maybe something like that. Okay, cool. And there we go. There's just a really, really quick, simple way of just taking some content, generating the piece of content you want to see on the screen and just positioning it in the way that you want to see it. With AI, there's a huge amount of potential. We're really just at the beginning of tapping into what is possible, but I'm super excited to see where this will go. For us, it's all about the delivery of that content to the screen and anything we can do to help you understand how to better generate content or maybe even just simplify that generation process. This is what's really, really interesting. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out to us and we'll speak to you on the next one.